Now, restaurants been around for 40 years. You know it must be doing something right. Well, Two Works You anchor Scott Thompson is on the road tonight in Tulsa's Red Fork neighborhood. Ali Station Restaurant serves up old favorites and surrounds the chicken fry and omelets with plenty of trains. The trains always run on time at Ollie's. I mean, there's trains all over this place. I started on a Friday night and it was busy and I survived it and it's just, I've been here ever since. And that's what Ollie's regulars come to like, familiarity in both food and family. Fried food, man. Fried food never truly goes out. A fun place for the kids to watch the trains and cable cars and plates that promise no surprises. Stuff that your grandma would make. Chicken fried steak hot beef sandwiches, liver and onions, some down home, like oaky style cooking. Ollie's had a five year run in Prattville, but for the past 35 years, it's been here on the corner in West Tulsa, right next to the train tracks that give it its decorating theme. I like it as a big kid, but the little guys like it as, you know, as little kids, so. Amos is getting the chance to be an engineer today. The switching yards that control the magic are hidden behind the counters. Running this railroad is kind of a consolation prize for Amos, who tagged along with his great-grandmother as she ran errands in Tulsa this morning. We asked him where he wanted to eat at. He said, how about Hooters? I said, no, we're going to Ollie's. <laughs> and years from now, if Hooters runs its course, the chances are good Amos can always come back to Red Fork, where the cable cars will still be climbing and Brandy still serving up the grits and the gravy and very glad to be doing it. Ollie's is open every day of the week at 6.30 in the morning over on Southwest Boulevard. Scott Thompson, two works for you.